Hello everybody. You're probably wondering why this look. I literally just came up with this just before I turned the camera on because the theme today is black and white. As you know, I had ordered some towels from Country Door. It was actually Montgomery Wards, but it, re it redirected me to Country Door. Oh yes, I did redid my Mohawk again. It's a little sketchy, well, not sketchy, but patchy. As happens, I accidentally went sideways instead of vertically, and once again, I have stripes. But because it goes in a pattern, then, well, basically, I've done it occasionally to the point where it kind of looks like I planned it that way, so we'll just roll with it. Anyway, as I had said before, I googled gothic, I think it was gothic kitchen towels, and there were some that came up, and like maybe in 20 some odd dollars for three towels, and I had ordered handmade, you know, hand, well not handmade, but hand decorated uh, towels before I had some gothic fairies that I had two towels from Etsy at my last place and they got stained but I still have at least one of the two anyway so I was looking looking for something darker like a darker color but there's one like like I said there's one set I had thought about but it was like 20 some odd dollars for three and I'm not sure if I want want to do that at this time because I don't want to ruin them and I just I'm I think it would be a good thing to save for when we finally get a house. We will get a house at some point. So, needless to say, I came across um, Montgomery Wards. I think it's Montgomery Wards. And they direct, like I said, they redirected me to Country Door. And what Country Door had has is a set of 20 towels and dishcloths that are black and white. Not goth per se, but it came up in the search which means it can be used as goth, and that's what we're about here. So, without further ado, let's dive into this package and see what they look like. And I'll try not to cut myself on my ink crack this time. It's doing fine. Put a band-aid on it for a day or so. All right, dive into this. grab in. Okay. As usual, we have the return, in case we want to return anything, which I won't. And we have a 20-piece kitchen towel set. And the price for this is better than the three-piece I was looking at. It's $17.99 for the set with shipping $29.40. So I got a set of 20 for about the same price as I would have gotten in a set of three. However, like I said, these don't have skulls on them or dragons or bone, you know, bone bats. But if you're looking to just get started and you want something, like I said, that can be used as goth, these will work until you can afford something else. So let's just see what we have here. And the princess is off to the side. She had a photo shoot this morning. She knows that this is the table where we do videos. So she hopped up on the table and looked at me like, well, I said, well, no videos yet until we get the package. And so she went about her business and then a little while later came back and sat on the front part of the table and looked at me like, well, will you at least take my picture? <laughs> so we did that. You'll see the pictures on my Facebook. Okay, we have these. It's a checkered pattern. It's, it's woven all the way through and it is 100% cotton made in India and it has the washing instructions. You have to wash them before you use them. It's a, uh, and tumble dry low, do not bleach, do not iron. So these are, again, 100% cotton. 
the quality, it, it feels a little cheap. Uh, I won't lie, it's not thick, but it is a dish top dish cloth, not a washcloth, so you probably don't want it to be too thick anyway. But I love the patterns, like I said, it's all the way through. It's not printed, it's not screen printed, it's actually woven, which means it'll hold up longer. So for what you're getting, the quality is exceptional. And then we have the, you know, the towels. Again. It's thin, but again, it's supposed to be for drying dishes. So you want it to be absorbent, but not thick. And the hemming is nice, very nice hem. So the quality is good. As far as I was concerned, they, put a lot of, they did put some thought into this. And like I said, it does, it's not like if you went to a big name department store and got a set. So basically, it's not department store quality, but it's good. These, it's for what you for the price, very good quality. So you have basically so we have two towels, and then two dish one dish cloths, and then two more. So we have four of those in the dish cloth in that pattern, and only two towels. It doesn't sound right. There must be more in here somewhere. So that's. But it is a 20 piece set, so that's six right there. And then we have another pattern, which I think some people call a buffalo plaid or buffalo check. I think that's what they call it. Or a window pane. I'm not sure which. Um, oh, window pane, definitely, yeah. It's probably window pane because of the way the lines go through. Let me know in the description which one it is. I know there's a buffalo plaid or buffalo check and a window pane. I'm thinking this is window pane now that I think about it. Because I'm pretty sure the buffalo, yeah, the buffalo doesn't have the extra lines through it. So we have one, two, three, four of these. Again, it's, these are, the hem on this is a little different. This is zigzagged or blank, blind hem, not blind hem, like a, it's a different, different finish on it and they're round so I like the quality of the hem on the fit the finish on the other set better than this because this this is a little more cheaply made perhaps on the rags but the towel is the same it still has the same hem and again it's woven so it goes straight through and I will need to wash these again before I use them. I have a load of light colors clothes in there, but I'm not going to wash them with them. I'll wash them by themselves. This is this. So there's again how many towels this this is this is not making a whole lot of sense off this. One, two, two of those. And four of these so far. So that's six, twelve. Okay, and Another one of these. So that's three. And four. So for some reason there's four with the when the what I think is the window paint check is four and four. Which makes sense. So that's eight and six, that's fourteen. Hmm. Which means there's only six left. That's kind of strange how they did that. And this one is black and white like the first set, I mean, the negative. Again, it's the, this is the better hem. And we have two, four of these. And again, only two. Oh, so that's kind of strange because out of the the one with the slightly lower quality hem on the dish rags, you have a full set of eight. However, with the other two, you have more dish towels than you do, di I mean, dish, dish cloths than dish towels. So that would be my only complaint. Well, the main complaint would be, it, they wanted to send a set of 20, so they did. So basically, they shorted 
two towels on each of these to make the 20. Why not just make it, you know, they could have charged me a little bit more and then I would have had three full sets of four instead of one full set and then two half sets. So that's something to look for. They, you know, they say a set of 20, they literally need 20, but that means you're going to be getting an incomplete set on two of them. And also, like I said, the, the hem on this one is not, as you can see, this is like this. It's, but the other two is a higher quality hem. So again, they're sending, the one with the, the more cheaply made design on the dishcloth is the one they sent more of. So you get more of the cheaper one and then less of those. So I'm rambling. Again, is it good for the, you know, for, for the price? Yes. And about, what was it, twenty nine forty about close to $30 for a 20-piece set because you're including shipping. Um, it's not bad for the price. However, they, for a few more, for a little bit more, they could have added the other four towels. So, just, just so you know, you're not going to get two, three full sets. You're going to get one full set and then two partial sets to make the 20. But they are black and white, so you can mix and match, so that works. Um, that's it on that. Um, the only thing we still have coming that I've ordered is the actual Carousel Cabaret CD. So that should still be on the way. Um, well, actually, also the rest of the Coffin Club merch is in limbo. No idea when the rest is coming. So, if, like I said, when and if that arrives, we will look at it here. And if it doesn't, then it that's it's that's life. Live and learn. Um, I can always get, like I said, I can always go with another small business and get something comparable to the coffin shelf that I have for the bathroom. I will try to remember to poke around and see if I can get something to finish organizing my bathroom for as long as we're here in this place. So we won't worry about that. We just or try to find other things to work for in, in lieu of what we didn't get. That's, so it's no problem. It's, like I said, live and learn. It stuff happens. Uh, but we do have the um, Carousel Cabaret coming. So that's basically, essentially, that's the only thing we have coming that we know for sure we're going to be getting will be the CD. And the cat here is being adorable. She's loving the smell of my dish towels and giving herself a bath on them. And they're not bath towels, they're dish towels. You silly girl. Anyway, so I'll let you go. On that note, um, like I said, don't drag and drive. Let the other monsters drive the hearse. Take turns. Boy, you reverse masqueraded. Masquerade. Mm. Um, stay six feet away from the other corpses. And am I forgetting anything? Oh yes, like I said, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more nonsense from me and from my sidekick. Hit the notification bell so you can stay stay posted as to what antics will come up next. And until next time, I love you guys. Stay safe.